Aha! Dinky doo, my heart is just me, Scotty McClue. Dinky doo, and a very good evening to every single one of you. Now, it's uh, Wednesday night, nothing gets past me. Quick pop up, of course. And tonight we are discussing driverless cars. Do you like the idea of a driverless car? Now, I think this could solve the problem of women who are very challenged by the concept of driving cars. And it might make the roads a lot safer as well. So that's what we're discussing tonight. So have a good look at that. Have a think about it and tell me what you think because it's your opinions I'm interested in. All right, so there you are. So we're talking about driverless cars and could they help the women drivers who are challenged by driving? Give us your opinion on that. Hello, Scott. This is Jim Johnson. Hello, Jim. Was hoping for a pop up. Thanks. No problem at all. You're very, very welcome. It's a privilege and a pleasure. Lee fans watching. Derek Jimmy Walker, Charles McClacklin. I love the shot. Yes, yes. Bit of rugby tonight, you know. So just in from training. And um, Harry and Alice watching. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. You're watching Scotty McClue. Quite informal tonight. Just a quick pop up to talk about the driverless cars. And to ask you, do you think it would make our roads a lot safer? Janice in Bulgaria. Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hi, says William Hanna. Hi, William. Lovely to have you with us. I still get lost in a driverless car with my sat nav. Or maybe women could only be allowed to drive if a male passenger was there, says the wonderful Rod Hardesty. Very good point, Rod. Well said. Yes, absolutely. Accompanied by a male. Therefore, a front row forward, Big Scotty. I was indeed, or I am indeed, I should say. I am a front row forward. Have done second row as well, of course. Uh, evening, Scotty, says Lee Firm. Dinky do. And uh, tight head prop. Was watching uh, the all the golden old is off the roads, Scotty. Got you there. And uh, no driverless cars. No, no to the women driving. Excuse me, ladies present, says Karen Mercury. I know, Karen, this is for you. We're trying to help you here. For goodness sake, Scotty McClure, doing you a massive, massive favour. It's all a money con. What's the topic, says David Brannigan. Read it at the top, David. Go and get your eyes tested and you'll see the topic there. Hi, Scotty. We're talking about driverless cars tonight and could they benefit fits our women driving on the road, those who feel challenged by driving. A lot of women feel very challenged by driving cars. No, Scotty, the technology is not there yet, says Charles McLachlan. Send a share to Sharice. You send a share to Sharice. I'm a fabulous driver, says Karen Mercury. Oh, everybody says that, Karen. And then, you know, the problems happen. So there we are. Good evening, Scotty. Can we have a shout out to Chloe Redmond from Dumfries? Daniel, Halley, Angela, and Jean. Of course we can. Andy Bell says, hello, dinky-doo, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. Just a very, very quick Wednesday evening pop-up to say hi to every single one of you. Would the car still have to sit a driving test, says Gary. Oh, my goodness, Gary. Women should still feel the test, or will still feel the test. They'd only be safer for us if there were no men in the road. Oh, Karen, I don't think that. That's true, for good to see. We know that a lot of women get very challenged by driving. I understand that. Uh, Thomas Harrison, I hope you've had a good day. Absolutely, Thomas. Women should stick to pushing prams, says Laura Devlin. Uh, separate driving tests for women and men, I think, says Margaret MacDonald. Make the men's a harder one. It's the coffin dodgers that need these cars. They're worse than the women. So there we are. And uh, McClure's Pies, Danny Boyle, it is so Scotty. So there you are. Absolutely, yes, it is so. You're right, it is so. It is so. So late. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, Wednesday evening pop-up just for you. Uh, have you been offered the Radio 2 breakfast show slot yet? Not yet, but who knows what the future might bring. Would you like McClue in the morning? Not trying to be sexist, but women do have different coordination skills from men with driving. Of course they do, Tony. That's why I was saying this. This isn't in any way slagging women or knocking women. This is just saying that would they be safe on a driverless car. Uh, the roads are shocking, Scotty. Um, the Royals have won. So there you are. Excellent stuff. 
That's not a nice remark, Mrs. Margaret Donald. Quite right, Margaret. You sought them out. Women are safer. That's what I say as I feel safer with a woman driver. Derek, I don't know if you know if you're in Weems Bay or Bombay. Uh, Dixon Diesel, Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And Graham Nicky's watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, First Lord of the Internet, the world's top broadcaster. And we're discussing tonight driverless cars. Maybe stop the women hogging the middle lane of the motorway. Men don't use the mirrors for their makeup, says Robbie. So there we are. Scotty, we're calling in tonight. Uh, maybe a bit later, Harry. I want to get the discussion going here. What's happening, Scotty? Says Paul McCulley. Big, big discussion live on Facebook Live, Paul McCulley. And we're talking about women drivers and driverless cars. So there you are. Colin Gregg's watching John Carlin and Nicola Jane. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. Women can't use the bus and leave the driving to men. Women can use the bus and leave the driving to men. Kevin Wiggum, hi, mate. How are you? Very well, thanks. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Sabine Schmidt, dinky do. Uh, Diesel Dickinson from Tayport. Tayport, very nice. And uh, how's the dog doing, Scotty? Very well, Tom. Thanks for asking. With driverless Audis and BMWs have indicators. So there you are. Of course they would. She's got a transit van around a... Now bringing it under 10. Didn't quite get that. And um, so there we are. Scotty, please don't ignore me. I haven't ignored you. Gave a shout out to everybody, Harry. So you must have missed it. Tracy Sleeth is here watching Dinky Do. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on the big one, Facebook Live. Everyone's joining us. Welcome, 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 I say. Tonight we're talking about driverless cars. And would it help women drivers to be given a driverless car? Uh, half pint of creme de menthe there, I think, says Murray. Uh, so wonderful. Uh, John Adams, you need to take that down. That silly comment. Excuse me a minute. Just need to take this down. There we are. Delete that. Come on, John. You need to talk a bit more sense. Uh, there's uh, driverless trucks. Any driverless trucks, says Andy. He says they're out there now. Women should stay in the kitchens or somebody. No, I shouted out to them all from Dobiti. Absolutely. And Abigail told her to get to bed. I'd never trust or feel safe in a driverless car. I like to be in control at all times, says Alistair King. So there you are. How would a driverless car look out for bikers? Well, they have sensors on them so they would sense it yes they'll be safer and you'd be able to drink no stanley money you wouldn't be able to drink so there you are if it's a driverless car you'd be in charge of it hi scotty and all on heels is Anne marie Crown. hello Anne marie lovely to have you with us so there we are volvo i've got one out in the road says andy hughes excellent stuff andy a very very fine company wonderful gordon roddy watching dinky do alistair but jack come and join us what's wrong with my comment it was mentioning uh, products and the rest of it so we need to get that sorted uh, so there we are. Yes, I wish them all a happy birthday, Harry. That's four times you've said I'm ignoring you. I'm not. Four times I've mentioned you. All right, big stuff, says Louis Conway. I don't when I'm driving. Excellent stuff. My wife tells me how to drive, says Rod, from the back seat. So there you are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You just joined us, Scotty McClure, with a Wednesday night pop-up just for you to say dinky-doo to every one of you. Tonight we're discussing driverless cars, right? And would they help women? I like your top, says Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, nothing. I agree with you, says Gary Cross. And no, there was something wrong with it. Uh, can you wave to Danielle Abigail Houston? There we go, Harry. That's five times you've had a mention. No more now. Don't ignore me. There we are. You're my hero, says Louis Conway. Thank you, dear Louis Conway. You're my hero as well. Welcome to Scotty McClue's Wednesday night pop-up just for you. Dinky-doo. Replying to Gary Cross and cheers, Gary. Joke, eh? Says John. Excellent. They're having a chat to each other. That happens sometimes on the Scotty McClue show. People start chit-chatting with each other. Excellent stuff. We like that. It is a social program. And uh, what I'm going to do, we'll do a bit of sharing. Let me get this here. Yes, that's excellent. Because uh, I mentioned the brand. Absolutely, John. If you have a driverless car, who pays the fine for a double yellow line? Well, whoever owns the car, the same as who pays 
No. Excellent stuff. Answer, there you are. Graham Loudon, Dinky Do, Scotty, what do you think? Says Gary, well, I think that anything that helps women who feel challenged on the roads is a good thing. One more time. No, not any more times, Harry. You've had five times. That's more than enough. Don't ignore me now. Uh, George Barnes is watching Dinky Do, George from Edinburgh. Hope all's well with you. Rad Hill as well. Dinky Do, excellent stuff. There we are. Now then, uh, Richard E. Lamb as well. Hello, Scotty, says George Barnes. Hello, George. Dinky Do and a very warm welcome to you. Hello big man, love the jumper, absolutely my rugby jumper, straight back from training tonight of course. I'm sure some collage campuses in America have driverless cars. What if you want to race someone says Paul McCulley, no racing allowed Paul McCulley, we need people like you to grow up and to think big. Sharice has joined us, hi Scotty says Sharice, and uh, Harry Knowles, no no, we've said hello to Danielle, said hello to everybody. So that's six times now. Now don't ignore me. Uh, so there you are. No feeling wheels, says Sharice. What have you doing? Have you been at the curries or something like that? A dinky do. Great question of the day, says Graham Loudon. Yes. What would help our lady friends with their driving when they feel challenged? A driverless car. Uh, would they feel happier in a pink car so you can see them from a distance? And you can say to yourself, there we are, it's a lady driving the pink car. Give her a chance. Uh, Scotty, the lady boys of Bangkok say hello. What makes you think it's just women have experienced many an idiot man on the road? I dare say there'll be the odd one, but I mean, it's the women we're looking after here. So excellent stuff. Dinky do, Scotty, from Mrs. Rod Hardesty, um, who would not have a driverless car. Ah, we're sorted, Sherry says, here, says Gary. Pink lights, says John C. McCluskey. Pink lights on the ladies' cars, yes, good idea. No ear infection. She's got an ear, no ear infection or no ear infection. Which one? You need to punctuate, Cherise? Mm. Oh, that's lush. I'm at the barley water tonight, guys. Wonderful stuff. It's a change from the barley wine, I always say. Scotty, have you ever crashed your car? Somebody did crash into me once. I can tell you that. And uh, they were going far too fast. Uh, do cars need airbags or can women use their own? Oh, that was a wee bit naughty, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, you need some loving says Andy. Excellent. So there we are. And uh, can I get a drink of your juice? Says Louis Conway, of course you can. It's the old barley water, very nice. Uh, Richard Elan says, the odd idiotic bad meal on the road. I think I'll spray my car pink, says Rab Hill. So I thought you had, Rab. Any Dobby Senior, think you do? Are you a pensioner, says Harry? No, another 20 years before I'm a pensioner, Harry. Uh, putting mascara on while driving. A lot of the women do that. Evening, Scotty. I found out my dad used to call me one at a time. When uh, when I was we <laughs> put a government health warning on male drivers' cars, says Margaret McDonald. Now, why would you do that, Margaret? They're not the ones we're trying to help tonight. And uh, Charisse is like a prawn at a disco. So there we go. Don't quite get that one. Uh, I'm a Barry driver, says Charisse. Yes, what's a Barry driver? Is that some sort of club, Charisse, uh, of Barry's? Have you got to be called Barry to join? Uh, who would beep the horn, says Rod Hardesty. Aha, very, very important. I think the horn would go off automatically because the horn is just to let somebody know that you're there. So there we are. And uh, who else have we got? Super comment, Margaret, says Karen. Excellent. Margaret McDonald. Lol. Excellent. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome, folks. If you're wondering what's happening globally. It's Scotty McClure, of course, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet with a Wednesday evening pop-up. Just for you, honk, honk, says Andy Hughes. No, 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 come on. Out you go. Outside of that. Uh, Rob Dunn's watching Dinky Do. A very warm welcome, Rob Dunn. You're watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live, dinky do. I like your hat. Thank you, Louis. Uh, I've had a clean license for 30 years. It gets washed every week. Good. Need to get my wife's voice and my sat nav, says Tony. Yes. Uh, she's pulled a muscle. There we are, like a prawn. Pulled a muscle. Get it. M U S S E L. Half the motors in Blainfield would appear to be driverless. Why have a driverless car when you can get a bus? 
Much cheaper and safer. Should we get the women onto the buses then and off the roads? Would that be a better thing? So there we are. Don't ignore me, you wee coffin dodger. You Harry Norris, you're heading for a lifetime ban. Bye-bye, so just be careful. Red card. Have we still got the red card? Yes. There we are. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Let me get you this. There we are. Dinky do red card. Excellent. We wrote it upside down. I'll walk it, says Alistair King. Yes, absolutely. Sharice pulled her muscle, shaking her shabby, says uh, Anne Hughes now. And that's unfair. She may have done it at the high dusting. Uh, the best way to help the woman driver would be to leave the man at home, says Susan Forrest in Lancashire. Hey, Scotty, Mrs. Jude Hardesty would get you done for being in charge of a car while being drunk. There are quite right too. Andy Hughes, yes. Now get the old folk off the road. So there you go. Thomas Hall, women pilots. Yes. Ni Hao, says George Barnes. Bit of Mandarin there, George. Well done. Han Hao. Uh, get them off, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. Who's that? Oh, Harry. Yes, love the cards, Scotty, says John C. McCluskey. Indeed. Oi, oi, Scotty boy. Scotty, me and Danielle are your biggest fans. Okay, Harry. Well, just cam it. Cam it, I say. My wife was upset someone stole her dashboard and steering wheel. I had a look. She'd only got in the back seat. <laughs> a Welsh driver comes from Barry Island, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Indeed. How did you know about Barry Island? Derek Jimmy Walker. You're some boy, Scott is, says Louis Conway. Absolutely not a problem at all. I know the red card's yellow, but it says red card on it. So that's that sorted. So there we go. Say hi to Lawrence Barnes, says George. Hello, Lawrence Barnes. Dinky do from George. So excellent stuff. Uh, I think women something, the mirrors in the car are not for doing the makeup. John, I've just parked up my truck, says Andy Hughes. Please are bringing a new thing out. They're giving you an eye test when you stop now, says Sharice. Good stuff, Sharice. Excellent stuff. I'm over here, by the way. Uh, you're getting on it this weekend, says Louis Conway. Never on it now, but the hot chocolate and the barley water. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Michael Yule's watching Dinky Doo, Michael. Hello from the party people, says Sharice. Oi, oi. Are you behaving, Mrs? Where are you part, Andy? That's my son, says George Barnes. Ah, Lawrence. Lawrence is George's son. Han hao. Ni hao. Uh, really, I'd better get my eyes tested, says Gary. My wife parked the car and I informed her I'd walk to the curb. Yes, yeah, so or you can get a taxi. So there you are. Anyone can be of any sex they want to know. Uh, so if you're a man, though, you'll be a better driver. So excellent stuff. And... Um, from the opticians, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Yes, that's right. That's where you get your eyes tested. Paul Wilkinson, dinky do. Scotty, do you know that um, the one that goes to church? Yes, I do, in Emmerdale. Yes, she's passed away. Um, who's that behind us, says Louis Conway? That's me, Louis. David Seals watching, dinky do. So there we are. Angela Goodlett, how are you tonight? Lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClure, and I am the first lord of the internet and the one stop broadcaster big style. And uh, never mind the women, the white vans, the taxi drivers. I think they should test your eyes. I saw an accident the old man couldn't see two feet in front of him and he caused an accident. He was out with no specs on. So there you are. Yes, Ali Henning, dinky dude, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome from down under from Australia. Uh, there we go. Uh, here's Harry again. Yes, we did that, Harry. That's six times. Don't ignore me now when I'm telling you. I don't need an eye test. I can already see I'm gorgeous. Says Robbie. I think, yes, maybe a wee eye test would help with that, Robbie. But uh, you might be gorgeous on the inside, though. You know, it's always... I mean, people are too busy judging books by their covers, aren't they? Uh, me too. Want to swap outfits? Says Carrie. He's having a conversation in his own. So, excellent stuff. Better not mention 
car, mate. It's not best not, John Adams. Good, getting the message. Um, hey, Scotty, just in from work, says David Steele. Welcome, David. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue with the Wednesday evening pop-up. Just saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Steph McElveen is watching. And um, lovely to have you all with us tonight. We are discussing the invent of the, uh, of the advent, I should say, of the driverless car. And would it help our women drivers who feel challenged on the roads to have a driverless car? And then they wouldn't have to worry. There wouldn't be a panic. So there you are. Excellent stuff. And um, give us a shout out. You're very, very welcome. And share, share, share. What time are we at? Oh, yes. Heavens above. Let's get sharing this broadcast, guys. As quickly as you possibly can. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. So there we are. Uh, Harry, I'll say, Scotty, why have you been rude to me? Not been rude to you at all. I've mentioned you six times. I'm not going to mention you again, though. You're being rude to me now. So there you are. An advent calendar. I, because Scotty was moaning for mentioning a car brand. No, no. It's just, it's not the done thing on a talk show. So I'm not moaning. I'm just telling you. No moaning. I don't moan. I don't go, oh, you can't do that. So there we go. Hiya, says Sean. Dicky do. Good evening, sir. Says Neil O'Gormley. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Done it, says Thomas Hamilton. Good man, Tom. Hello, Scotty, says Steph McElvaney. Hello, Steph. Andy, I was going to do that. I thought of crossing bridges. Sharice, it's very rude to talk to other people during the broadcast. So there you are. And uh, same with you, Derek. Yes, you're all right, Scotty. Anything to cause a fight, says Margaret McDonald. Not at all, Margaret. I'll tell you. So there we are. Harry, I think we'll give you a lifetime ban. What about that? So there we are. We'll take that comment down this time. So we'll delete that. And next time, Harry... Lifetime ban. Uh, no sharing until you calm your jets. No sharing options, Scotty, says Margaret McDonald. Oh, I'm sure there is if you look for it, Margaret. Alexander Ferguson's watching Dinky Doo. Vicente Bimendi is watching Vicente. Lovely to have you with us. Presto, presto. Allegro, allegro. Uh, Shields, says Anne Marie Crone. Excellent, Anne Marie. Scotty's giving me the belt. So sure he's, yeah, absolutely, having your own wee show on here, chatting away to every day. And the rest of us are broadcasting, you know. Cheers every day. Now, if you've got tea with you, we could all have a general sup at this time. Can we get sharing, please? Share, share, share. Share, 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 share. I'm just going to see what's happening here. And we'll get uh, get you all shared, get you sorted out, big style. Excellent. Here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh. anybody else have this problem with a mouse? Trying to get the mouse over to the right place at the right time. Scotty, tell Tony to get to bed for what? Tomorrow morning, says Larry. Absolutely. Come on, Tony. Off you go to your bubbles, right? And he'll tell you what happens, I'm quite sure. He'll tell what's happening on Scotty McClue, Dinky Do. Just going to share now. There we are. Have you got a wee nip in the glass, Scotty? No, Alan, I don't do the nips now. Just remember that it's us out there. Yes, police officer, can you identify yourself, madam? Driver pulls out her mirror and says, yes, it's me. Excellent. Good stuff. We like that. I'm just sharing to let everybody know we're live now. Scotty, can you tell Sean and Louie to get to bed, says Tony? They have school in the morning. Come on, Bobos. Good morning, Scotty. Got a few more viewers here in Sydney, says Ali Haney. Hi, Dolls, says John. Think you do? He does, he's on it. He does, he's on it, says Shelley. She's talking in good. Women speak with thought tongue, I say. <laughs> How's it? Hi, doll, she says. Tell tent, tell tent, tell tent, Janice. How can a driverless car possibly be safe, Scotty? What happens if the computer that controls it fails to uh, do and we crash and burn? This is disgustingly sexist, says Louis. Kind of, no, not a sexist thing about it, Louis. All I'm saying is a lot of women are very challenged when driving and would it help to get them driverless cars? So the complete antithesis of sexist. It's past your bedtime, Scott is a new Curry. No, not at all. My bedtime doesn't come until a lot later. I have more work to do. Five for talk, Scotty, 
<laughs> yes, I have no doubt. Share to a page. Let everybody know that uh, you're watching, guys. Share, 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 share. Do you have a clue, Scotty McClue? I have lots of clues, John Conway. I have an IQ of 164. That gives you a clue. It's a womanless car we want, Scotty. There was an accident, Stunning Mac. There was an accident with a woman driver. Looked like her face was bloody, but she was actually doing her makeup before crashing. How very interesting. I'm going to put live now on here, guys. Okay, live now. Yes. Just let everybody know. And uh, I'll just change that live now. Excellent stuff. Uh, that's that, and I'll change this. And I'm just going to share, and away we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And um, I've got an IQ of 200, Scottish Sharice. Excellent stuff, yes. The 199 of your pals in helping you there. Um, is your car pink, Scotty? Says Louis. Well, I did, yes, the classic ones. I've had a very bright lemon. My IQ is 169, says John Adams. Is it, John? Are you a member of Mensa? Do tell us. Radio 2, Scotty, any news? And an interview with you for very, very early days for Radio 2, I say. Take a zero off that, Sharice. You're harsh on each other. Harsh on each other, I say. My IQ is four, says Alan McGee. At least one of us is honest, Alan. Good for you. When the car's full of women, there's lots of airbags. What's the crack with the BBC Two radio? Are you taking after Mr. Evans? Says Rab, would you like to hear me in the morning on Radio 2, Rab, with a bit of nonsense? Would you like me to do the old Sartell, Janet and John stories? Uh, Biddy! So there we are. Shall we have a wee chat with everybody else round about? Gina McPhee, uh, lovely to have you with us. Andy Hughes Band. So he's, no, no, Andy's not done anything wrong. Um, I'd have an IQ if I had a brain. So Robbie, you've got a great brain, Robbie. Uh, I, uh, a member of Mensa. So they are. What's your middle name? So Sean Conway. Sean. Sean. Sean's my middle name. So there we are. Yes. So there's Scotty, Sean. McClure. There you go. You and I have something in common now. I uh, had a woman driver coming against me on the wrong side of the Clyde Tunnel. She took offence when I mentioned she was going the wrong way. Uh, Louis, what age are you, Sir Sharice? Come on, Sharice wants to know all about Louis. You need 120 to pass the theory test, says Derek J. Walker. We didn't used to do a theory test for drivers, did we? If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure with a Wednesday evening pop-up just for you. Dinky-doo, I say. Back to the old school Scott FM days, says David Steele. No, just asking David if we can help women who are anxious about driving by getting them a driverless car. And it would make the roads probably safer as well, of course. Um, it's about time you decorated, Scotty. Check the state of your wall. That's just a shadow with the lighting. The decoration is very, very fresh. So it's about time you get your eyes tested. There you are. Uh, that's plenty, Sharice. Nada, out there. Uh, old codgers who can't drive, says Sharice Ken. Tell you, I'll cut you, say, can you drive? Three, and a, excellent stuff. And you just join us, folks, whenever you're watching throughout the world, do spill. Um, so there we go. 120 IQ, says Derek. It's called a husband, says John C. McCluskey. What is John C. McCluskey? Painter was in the day, says she. Absolutely. Painter's just away. Who oh, the smell of paint I'm getting. Overcome here. Uh, more fun in the evening, Scotty. The mornings are so serious with news and traffic. People not properly awake in the mornings, says Margaret MacDonald. Would you like me to go on television, late night television, Margaret, on a Friday night and a Saturday night? Something like that. Hello, Scotty. Dinky do. What happened to Wolfgang? Says Steph. I don't know, Steph. We need to find out if Wolfgang's out there and get him back. What's your age? Says Sean. 34, Sean. So there you are. I was 32, but that was a couple of years ago. And I'm 34 now. So there we are. What's your age? He's high after the paint fumes. I'm overcome with emulsion, says Eddie Doby Senior. Brilliant. Good one, Eddie. Well spotted. Superb timing, by the way, fella. There we are. Bye, Scotty, says Louis. Bye, Louis. 
Don't hurry back, La. Uh, Charisse, 21. So excellent stuff. Very, very good. Uh, I think you've been buzzing. Too much paint tonight. Yeah, well, the decorators are just away there. I need to go and tidy up and all the rest of it. Lift the dust sheets. Um, the roads are getting worse. I see every day driving my 44-ton truck. I nearly said 44 foot there. Uh, what do you use to shave with that big mug, Scotty? You always seem to have a good clean shave. Oh, yes, yes, proper. Proper wet shaving, you know, with the, the safety razor. Good evening, Scotty. A woman's monthly expenses include three to 400 car finance. Here, expensive living. Our girls. Going to paint the town red, says Shanice. Excellent stuff. If you're just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McCrew, and we are, of course, live on the big one. Facebook Live, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. The World Stop Broadcaster. We're talking tonight about helping women who are anxious about driving. Valerie McLennan's watching. A warm welcome, Valerie. Hi, Scotty. Do you ever hear from Wilma, says George Barnes? Yes, I do, George, if it's the same Wilma. I can see the dust in your pictures. Set the cleaner. No, no dust. That's polish. They're actually bright as you like the pictures. So there you are. Place is absolutely immaculate. So no criticism allowed. Okay. Otherwise... We'll come to your house. There you are. You're going to talk about reverse parking in six inches, said John C. McCluskey. I could put vans into their own length. So there you go. Should women be allowed to drive during the time of the month, says Tony Mack. Well, that's an interesting one, Tony. I mean, we have to be very, very careful that we don't in any way become uh, sexist or anything like that. But uh, it's a very interesting point, yes, if they are uh, emotionally upset. Women should be taught how to change a type. I think you mean a tire. I think you're typing. Something wrong with your typing. No insulting Scottish house, says Margaret McDonald. Quite right, Margaret. Bye, Scotty. Sean, I thought you were away. Bye. Uh, Scotty, I've got something. Do you wear glasses when driving? Lengthen, Scotty. So they were lengthen me. There we are. See you, big man. See you, Louis. Take care of yourself. Uh, Mark Higgins, hello. Anyone who's anxious about driving, whether male or female, should not be on the road. No, I think these days it's not the place for an anxious person out there driving. John C. McCluskey says, lol. Welcome, 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 guys. Can we have another share now? Everybody share this time. Everybody share. Excellent. Sharice is all smiles tonight. Come on, guys. Lots and lots of sharing to do. Quick as you flaming well like. So much to do, so little time to do it in, lots and lots to talk about. There we are. Uh, fingers and phone don't mix. You need an eye test, Scotty. What for, Jamie? To read your name out? I don't think so. I think we're doing extremely well. I could see your name at 25 yards. But in for a driving job the night, would they have parking fines? Yes, I mean, because parking is the car part, not the person. So there you are, it's the car that is the problem to the parking people, isn't it? I tell you, I tell you, big style. Right, we're sharing, share, uh, oh, I'll do it this way. Share, share, excellent stuff. There we are, tap, tap. And uh, sorry, Scotty, got to head, dinner time. Have a lovely, lovely dinner, David Steele. Enjoy every second of it, I say. Fantastic stuff. Right, there we go, sharing now, and uh, we'll get you sorted out. Share to a group. Good, we'll share to several groups. So I'll just put live now, and then away we go. L-I-V-E-N-O-W-O. -E live now, and off we jolly well go. Wonderful. That's us. Yes. Good. Keep it going, guys. Sharing and sharing. Come on. Just because I'm sharing doesn't mean you can't be. Wonderful, wonderful. Just running through everything here. What have we got here? So many, many groups want to be part of Scotty McClue's broadcast. I'll tell you that for nothing. There we are. And that one. And anybody else. And that one too. And one more. One more, one more, one more. There we go. One more. Excellent. Right. That's all the sharing done just now. 
And we've told them we're live now. Dinky do. Just a wee second. Clammy shanty time. Quick mop down. Mm. Oh, yes. Very, very good. Now, that's better, isn't it? Wonderful. Just sort out the bonnet. What will be next? We've had amphibious cars, now driverless cars. Flying cars. Yes. I mean, somebody once told me they had flying cars in Wales. You know, well, I mean, nobody's going to check, are they? Uh, the women could prepare the dinner in the car on the way home for the shops. Peeling totties and scraping carrots, etc. Great idea, Scotty. Yes, you could prepare the dinner in a driverless car. We like that. Watch some of your phone-in videos last night. Really funny. Thank you. There should be bigger parking spaces to make it easier for women drivers. Went to car boot sale. Couldn't find a car boot anywhere. My wife does not have a license, but she drives me up the wall, says Tony Conway. If you've just joined us, a warm welcome, folks. Scotty McClue with a Wednesday evening pop-up just for you, live on Facebook Live. Tonight we're talking about driverless cars. Would they help women who feel challenged when driving? Eddie says, Sharice, are you having conversations with everybody yourself? Would you not be better starting your own wee program and then you can chat to them all on there and then I can get on with mine? Driverless cars would be good if they had plenty of room in the back so the women could get the ironing done while being transported, says Gary. Duke Crosswell is watching. Welcome, Duke. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, big style. There we are. Excellent stuff. Very, very busy tonight. Wednesday evening pop-up. Always a busy night. Few minutes left. Um, Sharice, why are you swearing? So there we are. I think we'll take Sharice's comment down because... She swears in it, so we'll delete it. Oh, terrible one for language. She is naughty, naughty. Uh, where the John C. McCluskey, we'll have to take you out as well. Naughty. So there we are. We'll just delete that. So there we are. Uh, more crashes if you've got driverless cars. Duke Crossell says, hi from Australia. Whereabouts in Oz are you, Duke? Do tell us and share the broadcast, please, so that the rest of our Australian Brothers and sisters, can see that you're there. So whereabouts are you? Come on, Duke. We're in Oz. We need to know so we can say hi to all the people there. That's not swearing, Scotty. Yes, it is, Sharice. Yes, and blaspheming. I think I'll have to sort of take you on a week's course uh, for language. There you are. It'd be funny, a driverless bus. So there you are. I might pick you up for a change. <laughs> Ocean Grove in Victoria, says Duke. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody in Victoria and Australia. What a beautiful place to come from. Ocean Grove. Dinky do, Duke. Welcome to the Scotty McClure Show. Share it with all your pals and let Australia Come and join us. We're, main, uh, we're, we're mainly on a Sunday evening at 9 o'clock sharp. So there we are. If I ever get a driverless car, Scotty, you said pus the other night. That's really, no, it's not sure. It's your pus, is your coupon. So your East Coast chat. Uh, so you're a bad girl, so bend over for a spanking. Says Andy Hughes. Andy Hughes, settle down. This is a good, clean family show. What's going on? Night, nice, Scotty. God bless my good man. Says Tony Mac. Dinky do, Tony. Lovely to hear from you, and we will catch up soon. All the best from Scotty McClure. Getting it right the night. Should have, uh, shouldn't have come on. I'm going to get red carded. You've never been red carded, Chase. Red, if you were being red carded, it would look like that red card which is yellow all right and the dinky is just where i've been practicing writing upside down because the camera reads it backwards and i wanted it to look right i used to live in wigan scotty you were in you were my ears you were in my ears on century do you know it's 20 years ago this week duke since we started century 105 in manchester so there we are and i had to sort a guy out last night who said who gives a you know what I'm saying? And I thought, everybody does. It's huge. Are you rubber? Says Tony Messer. So there we are. Why? Do you want me to rub out some of your mistakes? Um, help me, Bob. That's all right, Sharice. Uh, Sharice, you have a turbo keyboard, says Thomas Hall. Thomas Hall, this is not a clearance sale. This is Scotty McClure's live broadcast. 
All right? So we're not having discussions with each other. For the third time, it'd be good for a live phone in and TV after 10, Scotty. It'd be amazing. Why do people up says Scott Beattie? Who knows, Scott? I talk to very, very senior people all the time. And there's a lot of very big talent on the move in radio at the moment. Eddie Mayer, um, Chris Evans from Radio 2 the other day. So why not Scotty McClure? There we go. And uh, Tommy Messer. No, Tommy, I'm not on anything, Lala. So there you go. Uh, thinking, so she is good. Is nuts, says Tracy Barr. I do not think I am nuts at all. I am looking after people who can't look after themselves, namely some of the women drivers who feel very challenged out there. So there you are. That's all I'm doing. 20 years and he's 32. Absolutely. I had a very tough paper round, you know. Martin Monaghan watching him 30, 34, dear. So there you are. Don't try and make me younger than I am. I'm 34. You've got to front up. God is stilling. Thank you, dear. Lovely to have you with us. Are you religious? Of course I am. I believe in a power superior to mankind. You don't think the crowd we've got in is it, do you? So there you are. Listen to your Scott FM, says Stephen McFarlane. Yes, that was... 24 years ago, for goodness sake. Amazing. Scotty McClure, the phone-in was class in the 90s, says Tommy Messer. Uh, so there we are. I'm a great driver, says Tracy Barr. I'm sure you are, Tracy. Everybody says that, though, don't they? I'm not one of them women drivers, says Sharice. No, Sharice, what are you then? Uh, he'll never give you a red card. He needs you to make him laugh. This is Derek Jimmy Walker. No, no, Derek Jimmy Walker. I don't need anyone to make me laugh. I have a mirror. So there we are. Uh, take over from Jeremy Kyle like he did to you, says Tony Butler. Yes, yes, of course. So there we are. Uh, McIntyre, Dominic's watching. Is it Dominic McIntyre? 34 stain, says Tommy. You're 34 stain. My goodness me, Tommy. You need to get that sorted, lie. You're putting a terrific stress on your body. So there we are. So uh, simultaneously something so we can't see you. At least we can hear you. Psalms 95. God and we are the people. Wilberforce through the Scott FM days. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Uh, Sharice and God in Upper Trees, says Andy Hughes. Uh, Scotty for Radio 2, says Eric Fraser. Dinky do, Eric. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to the Scotty McClure Wednesday evening pop-up. Tonight we're discussing driverless cars. Could we help women out who are anxious about driving cars by giving them a driverless car? Say hello to my wife, Lorraine McGurk. Uh, Scotty, do you like Las Vegas? Says uh, Steph, I love Glass Vegas, and um, I hear you like cheese, says Johnston. I don't particularly like cheese. Johnston, do you like cheese? And which particular cheese do you like? Uh, the reason women get cheaper car insurance has nothing to do with the driving. Women prefer to settle accident claims with using insurance. Do you mean without using insurance, Martin? Uh, so there we go. Lisa Messer says... Something about, I missed that. Um, don't you think a driverless car will encourage more alcohol-related incidents? People will drink. Think it's okay? No, they can't be because they're still in charge of the vehicle. So there we go. Duncan McCrone, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, you top man. Gouda says, Sherry, that's a terrible thing to call me, Sherry. Uh, without, yes, uh, says Martin Mullican. Excellent stuff. I understand, Martin. No problem at all. Whistle. Uh, so it's very strange. Lindsay McNee, uh, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue with the Wednesday evening late night pop up, and we of course are live on the big one, Facebook Live, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's watching. Uh, do you want to speak on the telephone on Sunday? Says Derek. Yes, we could do Derek. Dinky Do, William McKenzie, and um, how can a car drive itself? Do you like Chubby Brown? I don't actually know Chubby Brown, but um, I have heard of him, obviously. Uh, so there you are. Are you Baldy? Says Tommy. I said, no, I'm Scotty, Tommy. So Baldy must be another of your friends that you haven't seen for some time. 
There we are. Excellent stuff. What about a car that doesn't cost a fortune each time you fill the tank? Well, Robbie Crossan, we would like that, wouldn't we? If we could run cars on water, that would be good. I'm sure you could run a car on hydrogen, but hydrogen is very explosive. It's dangerous. I want an insurance that's a fact that women are more reliable. I think, Charles, there's fewer of them. There's already driverless lorries in Germany. Driverless cars for ladies allows them to have more makeup time. Karen Mercury, dinky do. What cheese is made backwards, says Eddie Doby Sr. Ooh. Could it be Edan? Excellent stuff, Eddie Doby Sr. Very good. We love that. Uh, you've obviously been opening up the crackers pre-Christmas and whipping the jokes out. So there we are. Maid Edam, well done, yes. She gets that one. Do you have follicle issues, says Tommy Messer. No, Tommy, you mustn't assume that everybody else has the same challenges as yourself. So they are, but do look after your follicles. Uh, better off for the bike. Ewan McLean says Cameron Galley. Uh, Hope Can doesn't get voted back into London, <coughs> says John Wilson. Well, who knows? Hail, hail, I'm Chinese, says John Steen. Uh, do you support the Rangers, says Tracy Barr. I always support the Rangers because I feel they do a wonderful job at keeping the park nice. So there we are, especially some of the big country parks in Canada and what have you. So support the Rangers, I always say. Good old Dutch biscuits, yes, you can't beat them. And Dutch cheese, there are already driverless trains, why not driverless cars? Good idea, says James Longbottom. Hi, William, says Sharice. Hello. Um, so W-A-T-P, says Sharice. Wonderful. Uh, Talking point, is that right? A wonderful and talking point. I'll walk that one out, Sharice, what that means. So there we are. Andy Hughes, lovely, lovely, lots of hearts. Marvellous stuff. And uh, what have we got here, Sharice? Stop blaspheming. So there you are. The famous Glasgow Rangers, says Tracy Barr. Are they in a park as well? Is there a big park in Glasgow that they look after? Uh, Scotty supports himself, I do. Scotty, come on, the big man. Excellent. Good call, Scotty. This is John C. McCluskey. Excellent. So, and uh, I don't know what that is on there. Lost that one, Sean Riley. And uh, Tracy Barr says, no surrender. Why? What's the problem, Tracy Barr? What game are you playing? You're not playing one of these war games, are you? Can you wear a day sack at night, Scotty? Yes, I'm sure you can wear anything at night, especially if nobody's seeing you. Um, what about the fatties on the bus, Scotty? Yes, should they pay double? A Ibrox, says Tracy Barr. Now, what is that? Is that something you rub on, Tracy? You know, a wee bit of a chest and somebody says, I'll get you some Ibrox for that. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, give me some of what you're on. The Queen's Eleven, yes, the guard at Buckingham Palace, very good. Uh, love you, darlings, says Dylan Wilson. Thank you, Dylan. What a nice thing to say. Hi, hi, beautiful Sunday, says Thomas Hall. Although it's Wednesday, Thomas, but wakey, wakey. Uh, for God and Ulster, my boy. Uh, yes, absolutely, and for God and the rest of the world as well. Do you know Ulster is actually eight counties? So there you are. And uh, St. Patrick came from Ulster. So wonderful. He was an Ulsterman. Um, we are the people is to do with Rangers, says John C. McCluskey. That's what WATP stands for. Uh, Ibrox, it only cost a pound, says Robbie Crossan. Well, that was a bargain, wasn't it? Uh, I support my legs, and they support me. Excellent stuff. No discrimination on here, Scotty. No, there isn't. There never, ever would be. We Glasgow United on here. Uh, have you ever been to Pork? Kid, says Tommy Messer. Uh, yes, I'm very, very welcome at all the Scottish football grounds. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Uh, Lorraine McPherson says Cameron Galley getting everybody in there. Hi from Larne in Northern Ireland, says Joseph Hunter. Hello, Joseph. Dinky-doo.
Uh, you're very clever with the crowd. Well done, says Tam Hughes. Oh, Tam, a lot of experience of very, very big audiences. Oh, Tam. I sounded like Robert Burns there, didn't I, with Tam O'Shanter. Oh, Tam. Mm, the midnight hour approaches. Tam on ride. Yes, there you are. So, did your gaff? Uh, says Dylan Wilson. What about my gaff, Dylan Wilson? So am I, says Dylan Wilson. Uh, have a wee drink and get rid of the disco foam, says uh, Ross Donnell. So there you are. Excellent. I never ever shave in the disco because the lighting is unreliable. So excellent stuff. Uh, Dink you do. Big audience tonight, Scotty, says Martin Monin. Always a big audience for Scotty McClure, Martin. So there we go. Scotty, look at the numbers. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much for that. 71. If you're not confident to drive a car, I don't think you should be driving at all. Your classmate, brilliant, says Tommy Messer. And dinky do to you, Tommy. 72, says Sharice. 64. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? That's the question I'm asking you. Excellent stuff. How's the time doing? Can we have another share, please? Can everybody watching share? And tell people, take the um, URL from the top of the page and tell people you're watching Scotty McClure Live on Facebook Live. So there we are. Uh, John C. McCluskey. So there you are. Yes, I do. For the people. Um, Celtic have lights to sell. So there you are. And some heavies to sell as well. Don't shave with a lawnmower. No, no, absolutely not, Tommy. Wouldn't even touch it. Bingo. Don't do the lawn and shave. Don't multitask to that extent. Davey O'Donnell's watching. So there you go. Excellent stuff. And uh, if you've got something to say, guys, feel free to come on and let us know. You're watching Scotty McClure. And we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. What about the mumbling pants, Scotty, says Raymond Errol. Absolutely, Raymond. Yes, indeed. Educated Scotty, says John C. McCluskey. Several degrees, John C. Uh, Michael O'Hara, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Love you, says John C. Love you too, John. Top man. Just seen a set of disco lights on eBay at half price. Uh, One million. No, a bad price. So there you are. Hi, Scotty, says Daniel Hawthorne. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live. It's the Wednesday evening. Just a quick pop-up. So what are you thinking for Dundee next week, Scotty boy? So there you are. I don't know. We don't discuss football on here at all. I don't know why people are asking me about football, because it's not something we discuss. There's so much more to life just than... Did you see the game last night? Oh, I thought, I oh, see that, see that, no, 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 wait a minute. Did you see the second half? Come on, do us all a favour, guys. Let's get talking. What about the big hoose shoes to talk about, says Tracy Bar? The big hoose is still there. I drove past it the other day, Tracy. No balls, says Sharice. Actually, she used to do a bit of work at Wimbledon, I think. Um, now, love your Scotty. Respect, says Andy Hughes. No debates. Yes, yes. No, no, you can debate. So there you are. This is not a football phone, says Neil O'Gormley. No, no. We have enough of that, these football phones. Good evening, panel. How are you tonight? Do you think McWackle should get moved? Oh, that's a hard one, actually, because McWackle's done quite a lot of good work for the team. Steady, steady, I say. Scotty, your jammies, your jammies. So there are my jammies. I've not got my jammies on. This is my rugby jersey. I'm just back from training. So there you are, Melrose rugby team. Fabulous team. Melrose, wonderful stuff. All the border teams, great. Hoik, uh, Scotland invented tennis, Wimbledon sport, we should be investing in golf, golf in Scotland, drop the football chat, let's talk combustion engines, now you're talking, Goodwin Gordon Stirling, Neil is a football phone in, so there we are, lol, says Margaret McDonald, buckled, buckled, I bolt Neil, what's your point, Colin, so there we go, all that nonsense, <laughs> ah, Quick mop down. We are at the game. We are at the game. Hey, do you know what you're talking about here? Scotty definitely does not need an education. He's very clever. You want a fit bit for rugby? Absolutely. Well, I am a fit bit. This is all muscle. Down first. 
both. There we are. No rugby talk either then. No, we can talk about rugby. Not a problem at all. Uh, may I say, the picture of you and your dog is beautiful. I had a black lab. I lost him six years ago. Still miss him. You do. You absolutely do, Karen. You miss them. But I've got a lovely, lovely, lovely wee guy now. He's just, just beautiful. But he's 12. Uh, Scotty McClure, how do you do? Well, he's coming up 12. Scott Johnson, how do you do? Dinky do from me, Scotty McClure. First Lord of the Internet, the Wellstock Broadcaster. This is the big one. A Wednesday evening pop-up to see who's about. Where did you get your bunny? This one came from Ilkley in Yorkshire on Ilkley Moor Batat. And the first thing I did was go on Ilkley Moor with a hat on Ilkley Moor with hat. So there you are. Uh, the best combustion engine is after a curry, but open a window. Uh, so there we are. John Steen, sorry about that. Hold on. John Steen is getting a lifetime ban. There we are. We will never, ever hear from John Steen again because he was coarse. So, John Steen, all I can say to you, dinky do red card. Excellent. Sorry about the upside down writing. Uh, Craig Watson, he sounded like Mrs. Doubtfire. He did, actually. He sounded very like Mrs. Doubtfire. That's not the reason I banned him, though. I banned him because he was being coarse, and we don't want any coarseness. We're a good, clean family show. The little bit of smut flung in. So excellent stuff there. And uh, who else have you got? I so I sound like Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, I don't think so, dear. So there we are. Andrew Wishmaster Williams. Thank you. Bye, Tan. TC Paul. So he's gone. No radio anymore, Scotty. Well, we're in discussions with very, very senior people. So who knows what the future might bring? Clear flood, dinky do. Uh, it's Wednesday night. Uh, Pop-up's been dogged by Egypts. Get them banned. Well, just just banned him there. So there we are. Your dulcet tones on Brexit. That's bad. Talking doon faith. Well done, Scotty. Mr. Steen was starting to annoy me, says Neil O'Gorman. Yes, and I will not have my viewers annoyed by uh, silly people. So there we are. Hello, Scotty, says Scott McKean. Uh, watch it. I need to find the clip now. Went to the Free State watching the Free State play, and there was a barbecue at half time. Excellent. Shut it, Neil, says Dylan Wilson. Uh, bring back the birch says Colin Somerville. Well, I don't know. Do you think we should be butching people? Should the police be able to take a, a miscreant up a close and give him a good thrashing with a hazel stick? Um, Winston Frey Craig Lang, says Tommy Messer. Scotty, the numbers look. 73. Oh, yes, yes, but I mean, they'll build up for 25,000 joined me last week. That's right. That was your total for watching Scotty McClure on Facebook Live. Radio stations would give their eye teeth for the audience that Scotty McClure's got on Facebook Live. Excellent stuff. Methinks Dylan should be banned as well. Well, there we are. You tell them, says Tracy Barr. Yes, I will, Tracy. It's a, a red card and a lifetime ban if they, if they persist in cheeking up to Scotty McClure are upsetting any of my viewers, i.e. you. So there we are. Told you before, Sharice needs an early bath. Now, guys, tonight we're talking about driverless cars. Do you think it would help a lot of the women drivers who are anxious and feel challenged on the road if we got driverless cars? All right. I didn't appear till the bitch got banned. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, what we consider swapping your hat? No. Uh, hi, Freedom Fleece. I didn't hammer on there. What about a full-time Facebook station? Get the companies to pay for advertising, says Robbie Crossan. Uh, BD. Uh, so there we are. Martin Monaghan. Yes. Yes, absolutely. There we are. Sharice, are you still having a conversation? That's a lifetime ban. Neil, bolt pal, says Dylan Wilson. So there we are. Right, Dylan, the pair of you will be getting a red card. Who came first, the chicken or the egg, says Tommy Messer. Well, it must have been the egg, but who laid the egg, you see? 
That's the thing. Driverless cars are more dangerous, surely. Uh, show us your slippers, Scotty. My gaff shoes. No, I don't show people my gaff shoes. I keep them private. They should just get a taxi, says Tracy Bar. Uh, where in the cars would they have their lipstick? Says John C. I know a lot of women use the car for doing makeup, turn the wee mirror to the side, all that sort of thing. What's for supper? Says Derek Jimmy Walker. I actually once pulled up beside a woman driver, and do you know what she was doing? She was putting on her. She's putting them on. Yes. So there you are the car. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Miss Thai, excuse me, I'm getting bullied on here, you know, Scotty, and never, ever, ever get bullied on Scotty McClure. Dinosaur laid the egg, says so Robbie Crossan. We've had a few of these on here tonight, Robbie. Uh, so there are bullies. So there's no, no bullying allowed. Absolutely. Any bullying? And then it results in red card. Dinky do, red card. Bolt your rocket. Shove your band where the sun don't shine. Right, Dylan's band. Blocking him now. Are you ready to block Dylan, guys? Dylan Wilson, you are now receiving a lifetime ban. Shove that. There we go. You'll never, ever, ever hear from Dylan Wilson again. Excellent stuff. Right, there we are. Lifetime ban. He's gone. Calling McClue a rocket. Tot, 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 tot. Can we have a share, please, guys? Massive share right now. Come on, get sharing. Share, 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 share. I will do one more share. Uh, how's the time? Is it getting on for 10 o'clock? That's Mark McClue's bedtime. So there we are. Medication time, everybody. Excellent. Electric cars, says Tony. <coughs> Good idea, Tony. The electric car. We like the idea of the electric car. Very good idea. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on Facebook Live, the World Stop broadcast platform. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's watching. What a fabulous, fabulous Wednesday evening pop-up we have had tonight. Excellent stuff. It's nearly time to go. Nearly 11. Oh, for goodness sake. What's happening? Time I wasn't here. Right. Thanks very much for joining us tonight. It has been an absolutely fabulous show. Dinky do to every single one of you. From me, Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. You'll be seeing and hearing a lot more from me, guys. I can tell you. Bit of housekeeping. Share, 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 share. Get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. You'll see the links for that on my page, right? If anybody slags off McClure, give them a lifetime ban. Don't have any friends on your page who slag off Scotty McClure. That is unacceptable. So there we go. Also join me on LinkedIn. If you're a business person, come and join me on LinkedIn. I'm there as a global broadcaster and television host. And uh, also you can get me on uh, various Facebook channels, of course, Facebook pages, and you can get me on Twitter at Scotty McClure. Follow me on Facebook Follow me on Twitter. Get yourself onto the YouTube channel. Take great care of yourselves. God willing, weather permitting, I'll see you all on Sunday evening at 9 o'clock sharp. Be there or be square. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. I'm going to sing you the song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of Rita Zen, au revoir, and a cheery oh. Cheerio, everybody. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Scotty McClure has left the building. <laughs>